What's up guys, my name is Dominic and welcome to the Reviewer Executioner Corner. Today's review is on the Roy Aroma Car Aroma Diffuser. So um, as you can see, this is it itself. Um, it's actually a lot smaller. Um, the image makes it look a lot bigger, I don't know why. Um, but I've seen a lot of products, you know, for, you know, you, you plug into your, your fan system, like those Febreze ones or the uh, trees that you just put around your um, your car mirror diffuses, smells the air slowly, but nothing like this. So um, I'm wondering if it's maybe like essential oil or something like that, um, but we'll see. So this is the packaging, very, very nice on the back of it. Just gonna explain where it was made and voltage, all that fun stuff, um, but let's just get right into it. So um, there is tape on the bottom you have to cut. The box is a little tight, but all right. So we have everything here. Um, this right here is just gonna be the charger and stuff. Nothing really crazy, nice little packaging. Um, so we'll go over that later if it really needs to be charged. Um, we have the little manual, which it comes with. Um, and then we get the manual system. So as you can see, it is actually pretty small. Um, and uh, I don't really know much about it. Well, I'm gonna read the manual, obviously, and we're gonna go over it. Um, I can see we have to you know, soak the cotton swab for 10 minutes. So yeah, I definitely want to read the manual a little bit and figure out how this all works. So um, cool little unit, definitely different. I'm gonna just put this back for a second and we also get, okay, so we get two little samples, which is nice too. And they're actually nice size, they're not actually small. So um, this is lavender perfume and then this is cologne perfume. Um, so two different smells. Um, they actually smell great. When I open the box, you get like a whiff of smell. So kind of cool with that too. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to read the manual. We're going to go over it and then we're going to go in my car and we're going to see how this works out and see if it actually, you know, disposes the smell, uh, really well, or, you know, is this, uh, a dud pretty much. Um, so stay tuned and, uh, let's see how this works out. All right, guys, so we're back. So I actually read the manual a little bit more, and now I understand um, how to set this up and how it works. But what we're gonna do real quick is just show you a quick setup. So um, on the top here, you may see a sticker, and it will say 10 minute wait time um, to um, allow it to absorb uh, whatever um, scent you choose. Now, um, inside here, there is a cotton swab, and to pretty much open it up, you just twist this, so. You're going to twist this and you would think that maybe you would fill it up. Um, no, actually these whole entire things uh, go right inside of it. So next, what you'll be doing is taking this cotton swab out. Now just pull right on it and you'll see that you have a cotton swab and inside of here is a little support spring. So that basically just helps support it. Um, so we're gonna place that back in there, but what we're gonna do is you're gonna take this bottle now inside the bottle is this little cap This little cap was a pain in the ass to get off to be quite honest um, You will need pliers or something to get that off because it did take a little bit of time to take off So you're going to place this back right on in here And then you're going to um, take this unit put it in there So place that right on in there and it may take a little bit of actually perfection to get that cotton wick right back up inside. But once you do, you should be able to just tighten this down on it. There, so um, now it is tightly inside of the body. And then you're going to take this bottom portion here and it should, should go right on perfectly. might need to work on it a little bit there we go okay so there we go now we have the whole entire thing all put together so inside of here um we have the wick it's absorbing i'm going to take this sticker off because i no longer need that i now know what uh i need to do um and i'm going to allow it to sit in here for 10 minutes we're going to go in my car and we're going to see if this maybe perfectly fits inside of a cup holder uh, and see how actually it works and performs so uh, stay tuned for that next portion and we'll be back. All right guys, so we are in my car. I have this little guy all set up in here. Um, just to show you real quick, I know I have it on, but I'm gonna shut it off real quick. So to shut it off, you hold down the power button, turn it on, same way, um, does this little display and then a little scent comes out. 
So basically, um, it's going to let out a sense for every time you pick a mode. So you have light, medium, and intense. So if we click it, it'll go then to medium. Click it again, it'll go to intense. Um, so basically what these modes are is um, on the light mode, it's going to let out that scent every seven minutes. Um, mid, it's pretty much going to let the scent out every five minutes. And intense is every two to three minutes still. Um, it's great that they have all those different features depending on how much you want to smell this or how big your car is, all those factors. Um, if you want this to go non-stop with the scent, you just click the power button three times um, and it'll keep going. I think that's a little bit crazy. I think that's great maybe for a household, for a car. I really think it's great for light and uh, mid mode. If your car really smells, then I would say go for intense mode. But um, yeah. If you want to shut off this LED display, you can also just click this button twice and then that should shut it off. Um, another cool feature about this too is this starlight mode. So if you click this button, this camera turns on, I shouldn't say camera, this LED turns on and you can move it up and down depending on how or what kind of car model you have. So if I turn that like that and I go up to look here, you can see that we got a cool little starlight display going on. Um, so it's going to look a lot nicer and a lot better at night. I'm in my car kind of during the day, but still, you know, for, for you to be able to see it on camera during the day, um, that shows how strong this little LED is. So very cool with that as well. Um, so if you have guests, you know, you want the car to smell great, you want a nice little effect. I think this is a cool little thing for me more than anything. I don't like buying those, uh, incense trees and Febreze clip-ons non-stop it gets expensive after a while this i think will honestly be cheaper in the long run um and is a lot cooler and sleeker with the car too so um guys i hope this video gave you an idea of what to expect in the box out of the box what to expect from the product itself as well um so if you're looking for something for your car that will make your car smell great and you know will have a cool little led effect too i think this is great for you um and again please do subscribe it does help um i love making these type of videos and doing reviews for these type of stuff so please do subscribe the link will also be in the description if you're looking for something like this so guys i hope you guys had a great time uh watching this video and getting a better idea and have a great day i will see you guys later